Hey, what's up guys? This is Ben from Level Cut Law. In this video, I'm going to talk about prenuptial agreements. What is a prenuptial agreement? A prenuptial agreement is a contract between two parties before they enter into the marriage. Okay, Why is it done? Why do uh, 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 fiancés have to enter into an agreement before they marry? It's very simple. It's to decide what will happen in the event of the divorce. As you are aware, nowadays the divorce rate is like 40-50%, okay? And then without the prenup, well, if the marriage is long enough, the husband may have to pay up to half of his assets during the division of uh, matrimonial assets, okay? So, what are the common items that are included in a prenuptial agreement? Okay, who bears the wedding expenses? The husband, the wife, or is it collected from Ang Pao? Any excess will be distributed evenly, equally, or to the wife, or to the husband, okay? Now, another common clause in the prenuptial agreement would state that all assets and debts uh, uh, will be kept separate. So even if the husband, okay, uh, signs a guarantee, takes a mortgage, takes a loan, the wife has nothing to do with it, okay? She will not become liable. Uh, and also the assets will be kept separate. Sometimes they will carve out for joint property, you know, where they buy a house together. And then they will also state that, okay, if they buy property in two names, if they divorce, it will split 50-50%, sometimes 30%, 70%, it could be anything, it's all customized, okay. Another common um, uh, clause put in prenuptial agreement would be household expenses. Who pays for household expenses? The husband? The wife? Is it shared equally by proportion to salary? Okay. Uh, the next common clause would be how to divide matrimonial assets in the event of a divorce. Uh, the husband keeps everything that is in his own name. The wife keeps everything in, the soul, in her own name. Or is everything split in the middle? Or is it by percentage? Uh, this is very important. Otherwise, if you don't uh, plan ahead, then it will be up to the court to decide. And then you have to go through a contested divorce, which is very expensive. Easily $30,000. Okay? Um, then the prenuptial agreement can also state uh, matters relating to children. Like who's going to, who's going to pay for their educational expenses during the marriage? How is it split? 50-50 by salary, uh, in the event of a divorce, who will get custody of the children, care and control. Care and control is like uh, where the child actually lives, usually it's with the mother. Um, another common clause would be an agreement between the parties that in the event of a divorce, they will honour, they will follow the prenup. Uh, all the division of, matrim of the matrimonial assets, they will follow the prenup and not contest the marriage, okay? Because uh, uncontested divorce means no fighting. It's actually very cheap. It's about 1,200 in Singapore. Uncontested divorce, no fighting. If you wish to fight with anything, okay, if you disagree with anything about the marriage, then you have to do a contested divorce, which is extremely expensive. So that's one of the ways uh, is to put a no contest clause, okay? Now, the next uh, common question people ask me is, are prenuptial agreements recognized by the Singapore courts? The answer is yes. In the landmark case, 2009 case, okay, 2000, that's 10 years ago, TQ versus TR. You can go Google it, I repeat. TQ versus TR. The Court of Appeal Singapore, in uh, Singapore held, upheld a prenuptial agreement that was signed in Europe but the parties uh, migrated to Singapore. The Court of Appeal also said that uh, not all prenuptial agreements are automatically recognised and enforced. It is, after all, at the discretion of the court. The prenuptial agreement is one, only one of the factors okay, that the court will look at when deciding on the distribution, the division of uh, matrimonial assets. In fact, section 112, uh, para 2E of the Women's Charter, which governs divorces in Singapore, actually state that the court will take into account 
any agreement between the parties with respect to the ownership and division of the matrimonial assets made in contemplation of divorce. So, is it important to get a prenup? Well, um, depends. Um, if you are wealthy, uh, it makes sense to do a prenup as a precautionary measure. Uh, if you are not wealthy, but circumstances change during your marriage, for example, you suddenly become very rich, you may wish to do what is called a postnup. Postnup is postnuptial, means after marriage. An agreement that you do after marriage, but you haven't thought of divorce yet. You're happily married, you haven't thought about divorce, but you just want to, to do this agreement after getting married. Uh, it's called a postnuptial agreement. And it's, it's also the same thing, it includes all the things I've discussed. So that's all I have to say today about prenuptial agreement. If you like this video, click subscribe and click like. Thanks for watching.